Election day is in just over 30 days, and News 9's Bill Steinbach spoke with election personnel in Jefferson County today about early voting. Bill also learned some things voters can expect when they head to the polls on November 5th. He joins us live from downtown Steubenville with the latest tonight. Hey, Bill. Good evening, Dylan, and thank you. And yes, with the election just over one month away today, I spoke with the experts and the personnel at the Jefferson County Board of Elections office about what steps voters need to be aware of before they head to the polls and also what voters who are using absentee or mail-in ballots need to be aware of. Election day is just over one month away and in Jefferson County, voting personnel are getting ready and making sure the public has everything in order ahead of that day to avoid any headaches. The biggest thing is making sure your paperwork is in order. We need to be registered and if you moved or changed your name since you last voted, you need to make sure your, your registration is updated and you have until Monday to do that. If you don't get registered by Monday at 9 p.m. and we'll be here till 9, you will not be able to vote November 5th. Early voting begins next week in the state of Ohio and those who elect to utilize it will start seeing their ballots in the mail soon after. Our office will be open at 8 o'clock on October 8th for votes. All of those that have sent in their absentee ballot requests, those ballots will be mailed out on October 8th as well. If you haven't submitted a request form, please do so before October 29th for us to mail you a ballot. Gail says that since the pandemic, they have seen an increase in mail-in ballots, a process that is simple, but he wants to remind voters. Do is you have to fill out a form uh, to request the ballot. We don't automatically send you a ballot. The state did send those forms out. However, some said they haven't gotten them. So once you fill that form out and send it back, we compare it to what we have registered here. If the data doesn't match, then we will not send you a ballot. We will follow up with you and try to find out, you know, what is the possibility of the error. There are some other differences Ohio voters will notice this election. This is going to be a two-page ballot. We haven't had a two-page ballot. So this is going to be a two-page for everyone, front and back. There are 30 issues on this ballot. One is a state issue that everyone will get. One is a county issue that everyone will get. The other 28 will be specific to each uh, city, village, uh, or township. Now, as we heard Gail say right there, one of the things that he's urging for is patience in this. And because of that double-sided ballot, they're expecting the actual time of voting to take a little bit longer than expected and combine that with a high turnout that's also expected this year. They're asking for voters to be patient on Election Day. Now, of course, be sure to stick with News 9 as we'll continue to have election coverage leading up to November 5th with some local stories as well throughout the next month or so here. But again, be sure to stick with us online and on the air for all and continuing election coverage. In Jefferson County, I'm Bill Steinbach. For News 9, live at 5. Hi, I'm Jessica Riley. Thanks for watching. Here's another video for you to view and also take a moment to subscribe to our channel.